Hello and welcome back to Forts and today we are playing with King's Mod as you guys are uh, well as you guys are probably f familiar with we we have a very own King Benja he's made a number of the content maps around here and mods and he's made a mod called King's Mod and it's got a, a lot of cool things including some some uh, easter eggs here for Smash Gaming the Fraz Ball as well as the Incursion Ball which is apparently a way to fuel your, your killing desires which uh, you know what I think is terribly appropriate but what I think is most most exciting of this entire bit is a brand new cannon called the Core Cannon which converts the energy of a nuclear blast into, into pure kinetic Power. All right, so I'm gonna be teching straight up to getting that guy, and he needs a munitions plant. So we'll be getting, getting that guy, and then we'll be be firing some cores at a uh, cores at our targets over there. So I have, don't actually recognize the players that I'm playing up against. So it probably means that they're relatively new. They haven't uh, collapsed their bases yet, though he's spending a lot on resources. Uh, if you build out this much, you're going to be quite a bit slow in terms of actually making it to any kind of technology, so I don't recommend it. But now we shall be screaming forward toward attaining our core cannon and doing as much damage as possible. Right, we got a few more seconds before this completes, and we should have just enough, just enough metal and energy to put down our munitions plant and it is good to go oh mistimed the metal by about a couple seconds that's unfortunate but it is what it is all right so now we just need a place to put our core cannon and then we'll be good to go and I think I want to put it yeah let's let's put it down here so this is a trick that I don't often do but something that I'm going to do just for just for the core cannon here Go like so, like this, and give it this nice slant, just like this. That way, it can uh, sit out here, and we can put the cannon on the slant, give it some more vertical, vertical play. To, to, and that's a uh, that's something I don't usually do, but it's you know it's it's good. It it has it has served me well in the past. All right, so up in here, I'm going to put my turbines. I'll convert all this to background racing in a, in a moment. There we go. Those guys will be fine there. Put an energy shield right here to protect them up. Nice. And then we shall save for our core cannon. Actually, how much is uh, this? Costs uh, ten thousand energy. Uh, we need a few more batteries. Uh, quite quite a lot more batteries, actually. Hmm. Should have should have looked at how much it costs. Don't know why I thought it would be uh, cheap, but you know. Uh, it's it's there. So now we have enough energy storage for what's this? A trampoline reflects ballistics. Oh, neat. Probably reflects the core cannon. Imagine if we had cores, just like bouncing to and fro on trampolines. That would be exciting, actually. Got a sniper up there. Don't know what's up here out of him. Maybe he built wind turbines there. Probably not. I for some reason I doubt it. We're just waiting for the metal production to get us enough for the core cannon. Uh -huh. I, I'm always excited to try these new weapons, especially something like the core cannon, because uh, I can't I can't quite launch my real core at the enemies, but I can use the core cannon to launch cores at enemies, which is very exciting to me. This player is building a lot of defenses and seems to have some idea what he's doing, so I'm going to target him first. Look at it, it's very red. Interesting. Put you down here. Nice. Oh. That should fit there, and I don't think I can get it now, so I'll put my doors right here. One, and then two. And, uh, well, that's, that's, doors are expensive. Oh my. Very unique base design. I don't think I've seen something like this in a very, very long time. I'm just going to, uh, going to let that be as, as it is. Let's see, do we have any of these that generate a way to increase your economy, it says. Requires an upgrade center, which I do not have, so I can't put any of those down. So let me go ahead and get an upgrade center so I can fix that whole problem, not being able to put any of those down, because I want to experiment and see exactly what those are. Let's see. Ooh, like this. I can fit you right up here, right? 
Yeah, that's just a few pixels away from crashing into the wall. I don't really want to put it there if I don't have to, but I think it's going to be... A, you know what? I'm going to put you over here instead. And just, just hope... I hope I don't get shot at. Not a good assumption, but you know what? It's the assumption I'm making. How much do you cost to fire? You cost 100 metal, 2,000 energy. That's not bad at all. A little expensive on the metal, but I can, I can deal. Let me armor this up. A little bit of lag, never hurt anyone. All right, we're good. Let me turn that to background bracing so I don't accidentally beat myself in some manner. I didn't hotkey this guy, did I? No, I didn't. You get a hotkey now. You go over here, you go over here. And then we shall put down our... Oh, we already put it down. Over here. Nice. Now I get to find out what exactly these these Easter eggs do. Because apparently they do something. And hopefully it's good things. And hopefully the... Uh, hopefully mine is ex extra exciting. Because I kind of like the idea of blowing things up. Uh, let me get a little bit more power production. You know what? Let's save for these. These are expensive. What do you do? You generate energy. You give 100 energy per second. Uh, 100 energy per second? Ex don't mind if I do. Oh, you build so quickly. Oh, that is beautiful. And what do you do? You give 2 metal per second and 20 energy per second. So it's just like a... <laughs> neat. It's just like half of turbine and half of, of a fan. I'm going to put you right up here where you're nice and safe. What do you do? You give me 300 metal cap. I'm not going to put you down. I do you want another one of these. Right in... Oh, you know what? I put it right over here. Nice and safe. I like how the kind of face fades in the background. There we go. Now we have 460 energy per second, so I don't really need turbines anymore. But I do want to get another one of these. And the generator makes some good energy from metal. And collects energy from the sun. Ooh, ooh, that's a cannon. Uh, let me uh, oh, get some more armors. That's energy shields. I don't really need upgrades anymore, do I? At least not on these. But I do want another one of those guys, because I can. Just get some more wood in front for defensive reasons. Hey, he brought out some miniguns. Nice. Now, how is this guy almost done? This guy's almost done. One more door there. Because that won't change any of the firing angles. Get some more energy production. If only we had that uh, one mod that enabled me to, to turn turn energy into metal. Because we've got a lot of energy right now. Alright, let me go ahead and get a little bit more internal metalage going. And our cannon is ready to fire. Alright, let's just give it the lowest angle here. <laughs> Okay, that was kind of powerful. Yeah, he's going to retaliate by shooting back at me. Um, good luck with that one, buddy. Because uh, you're going to need a little bit more power than that. I'm going to activate command ability. We are the Hurricane Commander, so um, this will make this reload twice as fast. We have so much metal or energy right now, I don't know what to do with it all. Don't have a whole lot of metal. Uh, he's hitting up with the cannon, so I'm going to try building a couple of these. Well, wow, these things are expensive. Treplines are not not cheap. That's uh, who would have thought. All right, let's get one more of these. Or you know, let's see if we can blow away top here. He doesn't seem prepared for. He doesn't seem prepared to take an entire core to his face. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that, guys? I don't know if you guys caught that. There was a few frames there. We didn't blow the core up. We knocked the core away and sent it flying into the floor. Like, look, his core exploded right there. That's, that's beautiful. Okay, okay, I need to see, I need to see more of this. Uh, can I angle you down? Because, uh, I don't think, I think I gave him a little bit too much slant. And now he can't quite properly get a, a square shot right into the core here. But I, I suppose I can just blow away his, his, his top bit for now. I like how he have just, just a bunch of King Venja just peeking around the corner. Nope, not, uh, not getting much out of me there, buddy. Not happening. Let me continue to trampoline this up. Now, this should reflect projectile, or reflect ballistics, which uh, cannons are typically considered ballistics, so we should be should be okay there. Let's get to firing this cannon once more. 
lowest possible angle. There we go. And then refire this. Alright, I don't think we can we could support that anymore, so let's just go in let's just fix this up real quick. Like so. And hoist cannon up. There we go. A hoist and hoist. Continue giving me some better angle to work with. How do you keep missing my trampolines? Stop missing my trampolines! Alright, there you go. Get a little bit more hoist out of it, I think. Yes. And that should give me a nice, nice angle to work with here. And straight to the front. Yep, yep, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to see more of this gun. I get to actually fling cannons at, at forts now! This this makes me happy. This makes me really happy. And we're off to round two, and this time we have more players here, more targets in the lobby to get out to get the uh well to have cores thrown at them and i'm i'm okay with this so let's go ahead and continue rushing up to that core launching cannon as i really 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 want to throw more cores at people this uh this makes me happy uh it, it, it does appear to be a bit strong so uh, i think this entire lobby is just going to be a matter of uh whoever whoever gets to the core launcher first because it's kind of a lot and it, it seems to just dislocate all the nodes on the other st on whatever hits it so I don't think there's a whole lot of means to um to efficiently defend against it it's like getting hit by a BFC even if it doesn't completely blow away your whatever you had it for armor it's just going to tear it asunder like not even adamantium survives that nonsense so that's, that's gonna be a good one. I did not build a turbine, did I? I did not. That's, uh, really unfortunate. Alright, so let's... Let's... We're gonna be starved for a little bit of power here. But it's, I suppose, a necessary evil to build a turbine, as if I don't build it now, I'm gonna be starved for power later. And it would be better to get it done right now. So we're just gonna be waiting here for a moment to make sure that we can get our energy. Is he aiming for my turbine, really? He is. Oh, well. Nope. Oh, pair that up. It's uh, not a significant consequence, so I'm just going to let this happen. He's, um, he's wasting his time as much as, much as mine. Alright, technology is ready to go down. It is ready. Doo -doo. Machine gunner is potentially more damaging. Because there are just that many more bullets, but we don't they don't have a very good accuracy or precision, I suppose is the better is a more more accurate word. So they don't they they don't generally hit their mark. Which is, you know, it is what it is. He's just spending his own time and energy to deal with to, to try to, to to inconvenience me in a way that doesn't have any significance. I'm going to need some batteries. Remember last time we uh we couldn't build the weapon because of battery battery usage, or rather, the lack of batteries. I'm going to build my turbines down here again, and I'm going to do that trick again with the cannon to make sure that it's all nice and stable, or at least has a full angle, because it seems to have a lot of drop, as, as you guys saw. Last time I just did it because I could. This time I'm going to do it because, uh, well, it, it had a lot of drop, and I, I kind of expect to need to to get that angle in order to hit that top base, because even the normal cannon, which doesn't have nearly as much drop as the core cannon, uh, well, it, it has a hard time hitting the top base from here. So let's just go ahead and do that. And now this guy's ready to go, so now we wait. How much energy do you cost? 10,000? Uh, I can... I can just wait for a little bit. Because selling these guys off will only give me... Actually, it will cost me energy to sell that off. Which is unfortunate. But we can get some metal back. Alright, looks like we're getting both the energy and the metal at about the same time. So that will be good for me. Okay. Let's go ahead and put a door on you. Now we are the Hurricane Commander again. Uh, that... Oh no. 
Player has collapsed their own base. Welcome to the um, welcome to the average forts lobby. They've managed to uh, managed to collapse themselves. That's gonna be a fun one to see in the replay. It's always it's always interesting to see how players manage to build their build their base. <laughs> Touch the back bar and dies. Ah, uh, well, one of these days I'm going to build a fort that's a bit more stable than um that one. Now, if I think about this correctly, because it's such a strong kinetic force, the core cannon can be stopped by an energy shield. And also probably a, these uh, trampolines, because I'm sure that's what the trampolines are meant for to stop the core cannon. Like if you catapult a core at someone, they put a trampoline up, and well, the core, the core gets thrown right back at them. So for now, I think I'm just going to have to invest in a lot of a lot of energy shields and to fully prevents all that kinetic force from tearing my fort asunder. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have a real bad time. No, no, no. None of that. None of that out of you. And where would be the most likely places for someone to to hit my to hit my base with a core launcher? Probably anywhere along the front. I already have an energy shield there, so just getting some energy shields across here would be good for me. Get a little bit more energy. So this is what the incursion ball is going to be for, I assume. But in order to do that, I need to get an upgrade center. I don't think I can get an upgrade center and energy shields before my cannon completes. Because if my cannon completes, then that also means the enemy can have a cannon, because, you know, that's that's kind of how timings work. It's not like I have some super advantage over anyone that I can't do anything that someone else can't do. And I don't know if I have enough time to do it, but I'm going to try for it anyways. Because building turbines is... Uh, a slow solution for producing energy, at least relatively. Flak, flak, go away. Thank you. I don't need you in my life right now. Well, at least he's spending. At least he spent his time on flak. Actually, if he spent his time on flak, that's that's a lot less. Um, it's a lot less cannon for me to deal with, or at least a lot less core for me to deal with. Do this. It's one less. One less vulnerable position. Like so. There we go. Get another one of these down. Because once this guy comes online, it's going to cost me like 30 energy per second. Which is, you know, almost as much as one of these turbines. Usually when I shorthand it, I think it's one energy shield per turbine. Oh! Oh yeah, he got that out quickly. Oh, they had their commander ability available, didn't they? I bet you they did, because their teammate accidentally themselves had charged their commander ability, which, if there's something like overdrive, is double build speed. Um, I can't really compete with that. I don't have mines anymore. Hmm. Okay, that'll help. That'll help a lot. Let's rebuild this. Oh dear. And he didn't hit my, uh... He didn't hit my energy shield. No! Okay, let's blow away one of them. Alright, here's a, here's a, got a good angle. Yes! Got it! And hopefully this double build speed comes in time. I don't know if I can sustain another one of those hits. Oh dear. Oh dear. Or, I'm sorry, that's not double build speed, it's double reload speed. Uh, I'm just gonna keep building out. I'm gonna keep building out a lot. Come on. Alright, so last time he hit, like, right up here. Or, where did he hit? I'm not sure, actually. But I'm gonna build an energy shield. Just in case. Uh, just in case he can get online before before the weapon reloads. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. What? What was that? I've been... Okay. Uh, um, uh, sandbags. Sandbags. Oh, I don't want to put it there, do I? No, I don't. Uh, I want sandbags out here. 
Oh dear, that sounds like he's his cannon's reloaded. Uh, sandbag. Sandbag resistant over here. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give do it. Do it. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on. So I suspect what happened there is because I hit a device, like a machine gunner in particular, then the kinetic force got stopped. So so long as I have something like uh a sandbag, it should stop the kinetic force in the same way. Now my cannon is almost ready to go. Let me get a little bit more metal here for support reasons. I also metal is much sturdier. Much sturdier than not metal. So that'll be good. That'll be good. Sandbags doing good sandbag things. It looks like they are. Uh, they're existing. And that's what I need them to do right now. I need them to exist. You. Uh, too much in the way. I can't build any further out there. Looks like good to go here. Let's fire this one more time. Same angle, same position. Come on. Oh no! It happened again! He's got nothing but background bracing there. I've got nothing to collide on. Okay. Uh, luckily, teammates are coming in with regular cannons. Regular cannons are putting some serious holes in him. Oh dear. Alright, commander ability is available and charged. Now, I don't know if we took out his big boy cannon. As he was the one with the big cannon, right? I think he was. Maybe it was a top base. I actually have no idea now to think about it, because if he had... No, this was the one with the flak, so he didn't get out the big cannon, but maybe he's building it. Uh, I don't think it's... Wow. This is a really dense... That's a decently dense amount of wood spam. That's a lot of energy shields. You're going to be having some... Some energy problems. Speaking of which, just go ahead and do this. Alright, he's ready to go again. And fire. Hey, there it is. And he's gone. <laughs> Core cannon for the win. Alright guys, if you want to see another mod with another weapon ready to exploit, make sure to come back on Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But for now, have a good one everyone, and I'll see you guys later.